Hello everybody. I wanted to record a message today because I am just now feeling settled since the April 8th solar eclipse and today is May 11th, 2024. And I wanted to record a message because in that period of the actually it started before the the solar eclipse it started in the weeks prior to that with the the partial um lunar eclipse and then we had the i think we had a full moon and then we had these the solar eclipse the new moon then we had another full moon and so we just finished having a um the new moon in taurus and so like it, like i'm saying I, I i just am now feeling settled and in that time period there was a oracle card that popped out three times during that period and i don't believe in coincidence and so i wanted to just share about this card so Every day I pull an oracle card and I pull tarot cards for myself. Um, I love that. It's my entertainment. I get so excited just to see what cards come out if they line up with the planetary alignments. You know, all the good stuff that's happening. And of course, um, this card comes out. So excuse the shuffling. That is me looking through this book to to find the, the guidance. Um the book um, is called The African Goddess Rising Oracle Book, and it's from, and excuse me if I mispronounce the name, Abiola Abrams. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. I love the imagery. Um, I, I was drawn to it because of the imagery. Um, and the card is number two, and I'm going to have the image up here so that you can see it while I'm recording this message. Um, the card is the number two card, and it's Again, if I mispronounce it, I apologize. Um, the card is number two card. It's the Mawu Lisa, Lisa, Mawu Lisa. Um, and the Mawu Lisa is the force of mother, father, goddess. Mawu Lisa, um, excuse me, Mawu is the moon, the divine feminine. Lisa is the sun, the divine masculine. They came together during a fawn eclipse to create cosmic power. And the guidance for Mabu Lisa's card says that you are in the right place. Release the fear of your power. You are sacred. You are magic. Now that you know this, you can no longer pretend not to. The embodiment, embodiment says, rise up into your magnificence. Love and accept yourself fully to unlock everything you seek. Stop pretending to be less than you are. Your real power has nothing to do with external gains. Cosmic power cannot be destroyed or lost. You were created by the same fourth force excuse me, that birthed the sun and the moon. Goddess Declaration says, my power shines forth from within. And so, um, again, I recording this message to talk about this card because in this um i guess what now six week astrological cycle this card has come out three times and i just i just don't believe in coincidences and if you look at the card the imagery is so beautiful there's a a, a man and a woman so masculine and feminine energy there's the sun and the moon there um it's the number two card um number two, you know two is you know for me talks about duality light and dark um so it's perfect that this card came out during this eclipse cycle and on the eclipse i actually was watching the eclipse um, I was in Florida, so definitely didn't have, you know, see totality, but it was still just such an amazing experience to see. I did see the totality in 2017 because I was in South Carolina at that time. Um, but just, you know, I just felt like it was such a spiritual experience and I am studying shamanism. So I 
have a drum and part of shamanism is to go on journeys. And so I went on a journey to the middle world and just to get a message about what was significant about the, the eclipse. And I made a Facebook post about this journey and I put it in a shaman group. So I'm going to read the post that I made and just talk about that post and that, that I made on April 8th on the eclipse and then just talk about how I'm feeling now about that post after I've, you know, had some time to digest and let the energy settle. So my post says, I did a journey yesterday and received a message about the eclipse today. I was told that today was a message to the world that it's time to balance the feminine and masculine energy very much what was represented today was in was what that excuse me today was that the sun is so powerful that he never stops shining and is strong the moon though she draws her power from the sun she is still powerful enough to while the sun is shining make it dark as night even if just for a few minutes the eclipse today was a call to all of humanity to do the inner work to heal the toxic masculinity and the wo wounded feminine aspects within ourselves a call for peace and justice a time to unite and not be divided snakes doves cardinals swans eagles and hawks may be significant and so for me um i i it, I, I, I'm feeling that, again, exactly what the message said. Um, and in that group, there was some, there was actually a lot of, which was not surprising, you know, there were some negative responses to that. And I, you know, at this point in the game, I've understand that everyone has their own opinion, their own perception and their own experience, and we're all entitled to that. Uh, so um, <clears throat> I there was concern about in other cultures the moon being masculine and the and the and the sun being feminine and you know I don't argue that I don't know about those other cultures and so it, the the post was definitely not meant to be offensive but it was really just about it's time to heal it within ourselves we all have masculine and feminine energy and and we need to heal both of those aspects within ourselves and so the toxic masculine is you know even as a woman we, we experience that i experience that you know being a single mother or you know feeling or be, especially being in the in the military being in a, a very masculine environment you know feeling like i need to you know push to control to force to or work hard or to, to get what I want. That's, you know, toxic masculinity. Um, and then the wounded feminine is the, you know, being the victim, you know, oh, someone did something to me and I'm so mad and I'm so sad. And because of that, I'm going to, you know, be hurtful to others and, you know, control and get what I want. And, um, and so for me, I'm feeling very much that that post was very appropriate, that the eclipse was, again, not a coincidence, very timely. And, you know, since that time, I mean, look what has happened in that, in, in the time of since April 8th, you know, P. Diddy having a raid on his home, which I did a message about that in the very beginning of the year about the relationship P. Diddy um, had with, or alleged relationship with, um, Pastor T.D. Jakes, um, you know, it's just really time to balance. There was a, a documentary documentary about um, Nickelode was it Nickelodeon or, um, you know, the, the child um, when a child actor. I can't remember. So much has happened since that time, and I I, I don't like to to get into all that. There have been at this time. There's a a, a young airman, a African American airman, active duty airman who was shot and killed. Um, in his home, there's a, a man died in police custody while being arrested, you know, can't, can't breathe, you know, all of this stuff, like, all, like, it's just time, all these killings, all these, th there's just so much going on in the world that it's just time to heal those aspects of ourselves, both the, the, the wounded masculine, the wounded feminine, the toxic 
feminine, the toxic masculine. That is what that post was about to me. That is what the eclipse meant to me and for me personally. Um, you know, I'm I'm in a, a, a twin flame union uh, marriage relationship. And so um, it's very timely for me to, you know, really dig in deep in counseling to do the work, the inner work to heal myself to heal my inner child my um trauma that i experienced in my life to to go back to heal generational trauma it's just a call for healing the light um the the dark aspects of ourselves so that the light can can shine so that we can be our most authentic selves and um just be healed so we can just love and have a happy life. And so that's what that message was to me. Um, and again, I don't believe in coincidences. And this card showed up three times in this six week cycle um, in my spread. And so I just wanted to share that with you all. And um, it's just my, my take on it. Um, and I'm very curious, you know, what others think about the eclipse even if you didn't see it there were some you know messages some about uh, on my post well in in other countries they didn't see the eclipse um you don't have to see it to still know that it's happening experience you can you know it was live streamed on on the nasa um website and so just curious you know how's everybody feeling now that the energy has settled and we're in Taurus season, so things are definitely more stable and calm and grounded. And um, yeah, just curious. Let me know. Um, curious to uh, have some dialogue about this. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. And I pray that everyone is blessed and well.